So I grew up in Western Kentucky, uh, in, in a small town, lots, lots of coal mines. That was its main industry, uh, and went there, did the high school thing in a large public school. It was all sort of fine. Became a swimmer when my football career clearly didn't work out too well. And then I went off to college in the middle of Kentucky, a place called Transylvania that very few people have ever heard of. Uh, it was a tiny school that I really liked. And then followed my girlfriend off to North Carolina where she got a PhD in chemistry and an appointment at Butler and that brought us to Indianapolis 20 years ago. Uh, and I came to the Orchard School when I moved to Indianapolis way back then. Great question. Typically someplace in the wilderness. Uh, probably one of the most powerful vacations that we've had recently was taking my daughters and my wife and we went to San Francisco, but what we initially did was we flew to Las Vegas and we made a long drive from um, Las Vegas to San Francisco, stopping off in all these different places and hiking in the mountains and the high desert and the low desert, the hot desert. We went to you know, uh, uh, Death Valley. We climbed a couple of mountains in the Sierras, uh, and we hiked around uh, Lake Tahoe, which is actually where the picture comes from, mm -hmm. where we found the lost couple in the woods and rescued them. But I think progressive educa education, at its core, is about the students, it's children at the center, and doing the myriad of things to make that be the case. What about those who are concerned about the math science component in the middle school area? And how do you think the progressive approach to those core subjects prepare Orchard students for high school and beyond? Right. Um, it's a great question. The success often lies in the, in the proof in the pudding, if you will. So when I was here, I was very progressive educated and our students did extremely well in high school. There's, there's still awards down in the math room uh, from the math teams that were here at Orchard winning uh, state level and getting national, rec national recognition in competitions. Um, I think a lot of times middle school will bog down in what I would call arithmetic. It's kind of like saying that literature is all about where the verb is. That's a problem if that's all you're ever gonna do in literature. So what do you use the math for? Why are we doing this? And answering those questions, getting kids curious, getting kids excited, and, and then doing things with it, um, and it all kind of takes care of itself. Making this a flagship school of the Midwest is what I think I said in my um, uh, introduction letter, and, and I mean that. I mean, I, it, this is a school that has so much potential, so much good energy, and such a powerful philosophy and tradition that it, it should just be um, you know, out there rocking and rolling in all the subjects producing kids that are excited about education to go represent us in the larger world.